this year I am going to officially open my beauty studio. I have been having so much drama. My dad bought her a car. I also got the, the Nas foundation. It was a habit. I am going to be a sister, a big sister, once again. I'm, gonna, I'm getting a new nanny. I've been gone for too long in a faraway land. Wanna find my way in. Wanna searching for where I did belong. Hey guys. Um, it is the new year actually <laughs> and I got back from Mozambique yesterday last night but <clears throat> I didn't vlog I was just tidying up my house as on the day that we left we left the house a mess every time I go to Mozambique my skin is always breaking out son. it's always bad like I always get pimples not even breakouts pimples you know it's just always bad the weather in Mozambique just does not um, compliment my skin it doesn't go hand in hand with my skin and I am here to revive it so well, I hope you guys had a good new year you know I I had an okay one I feel like I'm still yet to have a good new year because um, I mean we were in Mozambique I was being a mom whatnot 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 which is always fun you know being a mom is always nice I always love it but um, I want to go party chef I don't want to lie I want to go out I want to go dance I want to go have fun oh. so um, that can only happen once my nanny gets back and I'm gonna I'm getting a new nanny I really want to go out I need to go and dance yeah, I know. Ew. Hey y'all. Um today is Tuesday and oof, Sana. I have been having so much drama past day um, last night I let me tell you guys my my previous nanny the one that I like was working for me last year the whole of last year I didn't tell her in December that she mustn't come back right so I had been like when she when when oh excuse me I need to sneeze <coughs> When she left, I didn't tell her, but <coughs> okay. But when she was in Lesotho, she did call me. She did send me a voice note with her number in Lesotho saying that she arrived safely and whatnot. So I then decided, then, like, obviously, um, Lita's dad and myself then decided that we're not gonna keep her for the new year. So now I'm, it's now she's in Lesotho, it's now like December approaching Christmas so now I'm trying to like make a plan for her to know that she shouldn't come back and I also told her the agency so I find my nannies or my helpers from an agency oh, I'm so sorry that I have to talk to you guys while I'm driving but I'm rushing for a facial um, so I had to then contact the agency that I found her on so that they can also try and get a hold of her but like there was no luck so not my old nanny also coming like my my new nanny came 5 a.m in the morning i picked her up very early and the old one because she just doesn't care and looks down on me oh excuse me because she looks down on me and all of that because i am much younger she then came at her own time obviously she comes at eight o'clock in the evening how okay whatever so then I tell, oh, she calls me. She's like, I'm here where you pick me up. But I hear that, like, I'm like, yes, ma'am. We've been trying to call you the whole of December. And like, it's done. Now it's late. She stays quite far. So it's late and she needs a place to sleep. Guys, there's just been drama, you know. Like, it's just been drama, 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 drama. Because now at the end of the day, I had to have both nannies in the house which is what I didn't want because now you know these people from Lesotho they talk too much they're gonna take each other's contact details and speak about 
the the family and the drama and things that are going on like if ever i you know they just i just don't like i just didn't want them to engage or speak to each other like one thing my dad has taught me about employees you don't have to have the same employee for the rest of your life sana like if i'm not happy with this lady i am gonna be so quick to change her very quick fast in a hurry and right now i come from sana how can you take up two lanes right now ooh, I, mm -mm. right now i come from taking the old nanny back to the taxi rank who is calling me and i am now going to do my facial let me just take this call hello getting my facial for the year the first facial for the year that lady says i must come back every month <laughs> i'm not sure i said i'll try i'm really not sure but i did my facial at sobey i did my facial at sobey and now obviously if any of you guys know and have been watching ah if any of you guys know and have been watching my channel you know I do I use Environ products so even my facials are Environ facials only it was a lovely facial if I should say so myself it was so good it was 690 the treatment on its own and then obviously I paid more because I had to get um, new products she then recommended or added more to my products my skincare this is the revitalizing toner that she obviously now added the toner and then she also added the environ midday mild night so this is my night cream so now i'm going to have a day and a night um skincare routine okay i'm by she also added a balancing masik <laughs> This is basically a exfoliator. She said it's an exfoliator and a mask, I think. So I use this once or three times a week. This is how it looks. And then the last product that she added is my mid mild day cream. This is my mild day cream. I can't wait. I'm so excited to have brighter skin and clearer skin in the new year. Guys, we are attending our first birthday party. We are attending our first birthday party. Um, first week of Jan, first week of Feb, and he's going to have his birthday party. His first birthday. He's turning one in Feb. Um, how fast has time gone? Time has moved, guys. I literally remember when I gave birth to this boy. It's like yesterday. It's been a year. <laughs> It's been a year since I gave birth to this handsome baby boy. Yes! And he's turning one in Feb and we, we are throwing him a party. Um, but all of that will be, will, be close, will, be, will be spoken about closer to the time. But we are throwing him a party. I was planning to go big, but his dad was like, hold up, hold up, hold on. Because they still... Giddy, there's still a lot of things so i'm not just gonna go too all out but you know we are gonna go all out but we are attending his um whoa what is he what is she to you let me try and think so is it your china sana i don't know but it's his dad's uncle's daughter Yes, the birthday party. So that's how you go in. Hi. 
Hello. Hi. Hi. May I please have a cappuccino and a standard cappuccino as well as a. I'm trying to think between. And the egg muffin. Morning, guys. Morning. Today is a Thursday morning. I actually had a date this morning, but um, the girl I'm supposed to meet up with, she's not feeling too well. So she, we decided that we were going to reschedule our breakfast. It was a brunch date. So plans for the day, I'm just going to, my best friend's birthday is coming up this weekend. Um, so I'm going to get her a gift and I also need to get a few things for the house. So now let's go. I need to get my lashes done. I need to do maintenance, but this video is not about that. I am not going to do any maintenance anytime soon. Um, like in this video, maybe next week. But right now, you are going to have to deal with me and my bare face and my outgrown nails and, 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 and. Whispers in my head. What you gonna do? I'm actually gonna give this a try. Take it it's it away. a shower caddy. I just got done at Woolies and I bought myself some cheese puffs. I'm very tired. I just want to rest. I just want to sit at home. I just want to cook a nice meal, you know? So um, I think that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go home now and start cooking then okay let's go i'm, I'm making a call mm. can i get back to you no all right thank you okay, bye, -bye. bye? I just got home and I wanted to show you my friend's gift actually. So I got I got her some shoes from Steve Maiden. Oh, they are so lovely guys. They are giving cute. It looks big though, but this is a size six. I got a few things from H and M home. I just wanted to show you. I was creating a reel. That's why everything's out. I got a I got some towels. I got some towels. Just hand towels for my bathrooms. And then I also got some sauces. I don't have sauces in this house. I only have one sauce and um that sauce is always being used. And I got guys Asian and home is actually not that expensive. Well, if you ask me. I also got these cute mug glasses. I find them so adorable and so aesthetically pleasing. They're so pretty. These were 100 Rand. And then I got this huge vase for these artificial flowers. And then I also want to show you guys what I got from Arc. I went to Arc as well. I just got a few, like two things from Arc. I have always wanted these. I got the Lars concealer. Guys, Nas is so expensive. I got the Nas concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And it is in the shade Chestnut. And then this goes for 675 Rand. And then um, I also got the, Na the Nas Foundation. Um, I went for the... What is this one? I think this is the... Yeah, the Light Reflecting Foundation. Time to dance. Fonte Dant. Yeah. The shade here is medium deep four Mako. Medium deep four. This is the shade that I got. <clears throat> so this is how the concealer looks. The, the foundation. I don't want to even say the price. This is the the the, the foundation. This foundation was actually let me just say it. This was one zero six five. Ha 
how it sways in the sun Lies the truth about us Things time will tell We might never know We all become The same in all the games Send me your songs of tomorrow Dying to know Hey guys, Whew. I feel like every time I switch on the camera, I'm always in a rush. But um, I actually am in a rush. Today is Wednesday. Excuse me, Wednesday. I've been doing work. I've been shooting. I've been just working the whole morning. It is almost one o'clock now, and I'm taking up my my friend for brunch for her birthday. Her birthday was in the week during the. Her birthday was during the week, so I I decided to I'm deciding to take her out today, guys. I've got so much work to do, yo. And I told her I'm on my way. I just need to do this quickly. Anyways, I'm just here to show you my pretty face. I used a new foundation today. I used the NARS foundation. Absolutely love it. It is giving lightweight, but it's very dewy and I don't like dewy foundations, but I think I made this one work. I really think I did. It's, it's going to be my new favorite. It is very, very much lightweight, Sana. Guys, let me just do this. Um, get this out of the way, leave the house, and I'll catch up with you guys A as soon as possible, okay? want to close off the video but I just want to share some good news with you guys I'm very excited I am going to be a sister a big sister once again my dad keeps making me older and older and older I'm so happy I am getting a baby brother I'm actually going to fetch him pretty soon today um, I'm gonna show you guys the clip I'm gonna go and fetch him with his mom at the hospital and then we've got a surprise for the mom um, you guys are gonna obviously see it but we bought all well, my dad bought her a car a BMW and we are gonna see it together I have seen it I've seen it on pictures I just have oh I also saw it in person my dad took me to view it so I'm just we all excited we are all excited today is the day we've been waiting for luckily guys let me just explain um, my brother was supposed to be born on the 23rd of Jan but on the 16th on the 15th I went on the 15th of Jan that's my son's month anniversary okay on the 15th of Jan I went to I went home like home is not far guys home is literally next door down the road I went home and I was visiting my baby sister and uh, we were playing playing and then I decided to take my baby sister for a walk I left my phone when I came back home um, my sister's mom was in labor like 
not even labor she was just in severe pain and she said she had been feeling these pains for now two days so I quickly rushed her to the hospital that is my first time rushing someone to the hospital <sighs> yeah I rushed her to the hospital and then um, only to find out that actually <laughs> the boy is actually wanting to come out so she gave birth the following day if I had not taken her to the hospital honey in fact I don't know but she gave birth the following day which was very great we were all happy we were all excited it was just not planned we just didn't I think that's how it is sometimes um, unexpected things happen or the date that your doctor has set for you sometimes may come may change and that's what happened in this case so my brother was born on the 16th of January 2024 and one thing about my family one thing about my family literally just my family like my dad every year since 2022 there's just been a baby coming 2022 was my little sister 2023 was me 2024 is my my dad again like next year it cannot be anyone i don't in fact i don't like we need to stop making babies because at this point we are called the baby maker family every year rally we are just releasing we are releasing a new being mm -mm. so hopefully we are going to take a break as a family and just raise these kids that are born um so that they can grow to a certain age and then hopefully i can fall pregnant again one day because i want lita to have a sibling yes lita has like a lot of people to play with as in my sister and my my newborn brother he's already very much close with my little sister but i would also want him to have his own like biological sister although i already take them as siblings like i take them as my own kids um but those are the exciting news i am so happy i am going to be um fetching my younger brother with you guys and exciting times and when we just um revealing the car so um i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog i hope you guys did enjoy the vlog i really enjoyed filming it for you yes there were times where i just didn't film but i think the gist of it is out there and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful year plans for the year i am just going to work hard this year i think this year i want to make it my year in terms of work last year i was just um trying i'm still trying you know last year was more of redefining myself and as a new mom and 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 but now i feel like i'm ready to just get onto my work and really really push content creation because i think that's something i am so good at and i feel strongly about so i'm going to go back i'm going to go back i am going to go back i I am I am open to working with brands again. I am open to just work. You know, I'm just open to work and quality work. Um, mom content. I love being a mom. It's 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 taken a huge part of my life. I am a mom too my son and obviously my sister and now obviously to my brother literally i i am always there for my sister and my son i'm just i just love being a mother i love nurturing i just love i love oh it's just it's, it's it's i can't explain it i just can't explain it but i absolutely love um my mom era and just being a mom i think it's just something that fills my heart and just keeps me happy at all times like no matter what is going on in my life at that current moment i know that there's this child that just loves me unconditionally and that's what i've always ever wanted so now i've got two kids three kids four kids that just love me unconditionally um, my two sisters and my my newborn brother and obviously my one and only son so um I am very much open to work this year I am traveling we are going abroad abroad real abroad not like you're abroad around the corner I am going to the United States of America I'm so excited um, but we'll talk about that closer to the time and this year I am I probably won't be graduating this year um, I'm gonna be honest guys I was in my I was doing my final year last year and 
and it was very rocky I can even admit to that it was very rocky sometimes I was submitting and sometimes I was not and when I was not submitting it means I don't understand the work because obviously I look at the assignment and I don't understand the work and because I haven't been going to school and 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 it's not excuses but I was very much focused on being a mom and you know just being just trying to juggle also my life as being a mom and a student it was kind of like difficult because I really have to rely on my partner and the different um nannies to help me when I need help it's not like I can go and dump my child at an aunt or a mom or someone or a grand I can't do that at like at, I, I I just can't you know many of you guys know that I lost my mom when I was very young so and my partner also like I lost my mom when I was very young so I, I don't have that that support of like no bring your child at any time um you 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 study you do you do all of that no I've just never had that so I just always rely on myself my partner and the nannies that do help me that's why I feel like for me it's very important for me to have a helper or a nanny that is that I'm very much comfortable with because most of the time you will be the person that will be helping me with my child I am able to do certain things because I have a nanny and I'm so grateful for that I I don't take it for granted because I think if it was just me and my son a lot of things would have to be put put on pause so that I can raise him and then then start doing certain things so I'm very grateful for just the fact that I can be able to afford a a helper or a, a like a nanny that can just help me with my my child at times and also it just makes my life easier because I'm able to tell her what to do with raising my child you know sometimes with family guys you can't even tell someone no please don't feed my child this because it's like hey I've raised five kids I know what I'm doing but it's like okay I don't want you to do that this is my child I don't want my child to eat that you know it's always a bit difficult when it comes to family because they will obviously tell you about experience and how many kids they have and you know I like I I don't have a problem but I the only problem I have is now when I am the mother of the child and I'm telling you that please don't do this to my child can we please respect that no matter how many kids you have <laughs> yo yeah so with a helper I am able to give her certain instructions we are both figuring it out together me and my partner but I have I have been enjoying this journey so much being a mom is just so heartwarming you know I am going through the trials and errors by myself like with my partner of course and we figure it out together which is a, an amazing thing and we really figure it out together my son is turning one this year in fact next month on the 15th of february you know you guys i was almost i was almost so close to having my son on valentine's day but um we are throwing him a first birthday which is very exciting um you know these are milestones because I have been through a lot with this baby. Oh, I've been through a lot with my son and I know we are still going to have a lot of hardships and good times. But it's amazing. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. It's really amazing. I am, this is the biggest thing, guys. Also, this year I am going to officially open my beauty studio to everybody. To all of you guys um, it is just a lash beauty studio at the moment it's called gold's beauty studio you can follow that on Instagram at gold's beauty studio I will be starting to operate in February um, sometime in February I'm not gonna just let out the exact date but just some details on what I will do it's just lashes at the moment classic and hybrid volume here and there but very much classic and hybrid I will be doing house calls which means I will probably charge not even probably which means I will be charging um, distance and how far you stay from um, from where I stay and my studio will just be what I have for now until I can actually get a proper studio but it is still called Gold's Beauty Studio because these are the things we manifest we have to speak them into existence for them to really happen so where I will be sort of operating it will be all the way in Brackpan if you guys know where Brackpan is that side of the world in the East Rand that's where I will be <clears throat> so if ever you guys don't wanna 
pay or don't want me to come to you you can always come to me but all the details will be there on my instagram i am very excited for gold's beauty studio i hope you guys are just as excited i will be ready to start taking bookings from feb once i start operating but i will keep you guys posted please do support me guys i i am very excited about this journey and your support will be highly highly appreciated um yeah man guys i think that is just about it for today 